Europe. Well, I had uh, been living in Europe uh, with my parents. In Spain? In Spain. And uh, I came back to the United States to go to grad school. And I went to, I got accepted to Cal State University Long Beach uh, for the uh, fall of two th uh, 1975, a long time ago. And uh, I came into town and uh, began my work at school in the printmaking department. And there was a Chicano named David Starr. As a matter of fact, at that time, uh, John Valadez and uh, Leo Limon were at Cal State Long Beach as well. And um, David told me that he knew of a nonprofit in uh, downtown Los Angeles that was looking for art teachers. And I was one of those kinds of people that had to work my way through graduate school. And at the time, I was doing factory work and modeling for art classes and busing tables. So teaching art seemed like a very nice opportunity for me, and I was very happy. And so I put together my portfolios, and I remember that I had a, a, a spring, summer, and fall portfolio where there was different works in different portfolios, depending on what I was working on in that season. And I went up to meet Sister Karen Bocaletto at Self Help Graphics. At that time, it was located at 2111 Brooklyn Avenue. And there aren't a lot of people who remember the Brooklyn Avenue address. Uh, I was actually there when they moved to Gage, which is now, you know, the uh, Cesar Chavez. It was Brooklyn and Gage. And I remember being very nervous when I met Sister Karen. I was very nervous. I was, you know how you get fuzzy when you're nervous? And uh, Sister Karen interviewed me and looked at the portfolios of work. And actually, Michael Meskel was there for the interview. And at the time, Sister, uh, Sister Pius was her bookkeeper, and Sister Beth was her uh, assistant director. And I was interviewed by Sister Karen, and I saw the studio, which was a very, very large room on the second floor of 2111 Brooklyn. Uh, with uh, it was a wood floors and just a really large open space with sinks on the right on the left hand side as you came in long sort of long working sinks I can't I don't know what that space was before I can't imagine probably some sort of a factory or working space and um, it was divided by just partitions in the room and there was silk screening going on in the back and the body mobile art studio actually existed at that time I think it had already been up for a year. And uh, I was being interviewed actually to teach on the Body of Mobile Arts Studio and Sister Karen was looking for a silk screener. And my undergraduate teacher, uh, Ernest Lacey, who's still an artist here in Southern California, actually taught me silk screen in um, undergraduate work. So I knew all about silk screening. And because I came from Spain, um, had been living in Spain, I spoke Spanish. And uh, so I was hired for the opportunity. And Sister Karen was very kind to me. Uh, I always had a very close relationship with her because she was a printmaker as well, and an artist, and she loved being an artist, and so do I. So we always had very good conversations about the artistic process, the creative process. And uh, I worked on uh, Vadio Mobile Arts Studio as a part of the California Arts Council grants. And uh, at that point, uh, who was on... As a matter of fact, there is a name that I need to give to you later because there was another artist that was on the Body Mobile Arts Studio at that time that I think you should talk to as well. Michael Amesqua and I were basically on the Body Mobile Arts Studio along with another artist that changed. That person changed, but he and I were there for, I think we were on the Body Mobile Arts Studio for a good five years, total five years. And um, it was a very interesting experience because Sister Karen was very um, uh, adamant about including. Uh, Mesoamerican and Mexican uh, iconography and history in teaching young people in East LA. And so you had young, lots of young Chicanos, young Mexican Americans, young Latinos that enjoyed learning about Mexican history and making imagery that was um, reminiscent of iconography of Mexico. And uplifting, right? It was very uplifting for everyone. I mean, we all learned a great deal about ourselves and about the culture and Sister Karen gave us an avenue to be able to teach what we were learning to other children. At that point my husband and I were traveling to Mexico a great deal. I got married almost immediately afterwards. I started working at Self Up Graphics in early 1976 and Ron and I got married in June and August of 1977. So we were traveling to Mexico and collecting books because there weren't very many books in the libraries anywhere in Southern California that were in English, uh, written by, uh, uh, translated from Spanish about Mesoamerican, about Mexican history. 
So I collected a lot of books that we used in the Body Memoir Studio. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. Uh,